Hey, you guys. I pray all is well. I just want to come on here really quickly and share this word from Daddy God, okay? This prophetic poem that he gave me, it was so beautiful. Um, I, I'm blessed. I'm honored. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day, okay? I pray that you guys are okay. I pray that you guys are pushing through. I pray that you guys are praying and believing and keeping your faith, okay, you guys? Um, but I just want to come and encourage you all on today with this word that the Lord gave me. Um, I just kept hearing it. And a lot of times, I'm going to hear Michelle heard, <laughs> but um, a lot of times when I'm hearing something over and over again or repetitive, I feel that the Lord is trying to say something or explain something or share something with me with that, okay? But just in the midst of y'all know, I started my one-on-ones, right? And um, this has really been a blessing to me, okay, you guys? I, I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for everybody that's been supporting me in this ministry, okay, you guys? But just even when I'm in the midst of my one-on-ones, um, I hear a lot of my clients saying, I felt like I felt like the black sheep of the family. I feel like the black sheep, you know, and I can I can feel and I can relate to that. You know, I can understand that feeling. OK, you guys, because I even said that before I've said that I've said that I felt like a black sheep. You know, I felt different from others, you know, in my family or my friendships or in the workplace or in just different areas of my life. I always felt different. I always felt like, well, is there something wrong with me? Or, you know, things like that, you know, and um, you hear a lot of people say that um, they feel like the black sheep, you know, and that's a lot. I kept hearing that a lot, even in my one on one sessions. That's one thing that I can say almost everyone that mostly didn't, that didn't have booked with me has said that, you know. So I know as believers, you know, in, in, in being Christ's children, we can feel like the black sheep. OK, you all. But the Lord spoke to me. After that, that the last client that I had, and he just began to share and pour out to me, and um, he gave me a word, and I pray that it encourages you just as much as it encouraged me because I received it. Um, it blessed me, so I pray that it blesses you. Okay, keep trusting God, keep striving, keep being who He's called you to be. You don't have to act like or pretend to be anyone else. Okay, be you, be who exactly the Lord has called you to be. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and share this poem with you all. Um, it says, to my black sheep, you're the only ones that I could keep. You're the only ones who say yes and amen. It's I, your Lord, your God gave you the commands. Being a black sheep, I know things could get deep. But to be honest, you're the goat. You're like Noah, you will go and build a boat. It may not make sense to others around you, but I'm the one who has crowned you. You chose me, so I chose you. We're in this together, we're stuck like glue. What others have counted you out, I counted you in. This is not the end, but actually the beginning. I'm the only one that can cause an ending. Don't be afraid, don't be dismayed. You had a price and I already paid. They see you, they recognize you. They know your love for me. They're not against you, but they are against me. What makes you think they'll acknowledge you when they don't even acknowledge me? I built you different. You're not one of them, but one of mine. See, with you, I took my time. I made you different so that you will grow and see that you wasn't made to fit in, but you were made to be just like me. Love, Daddy God. Um, I pray that this blesses whoever needs to bless. It blessed me. I want to say thank you to everybody that supports this ministry. Thank you for everybody that's been booking one-on-ones with me. If you need help with that, just go and look in my description box and I'll share that information with you or just go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll share, share that information with you. But God says, you were made to be like everybody else. We were made to be different. We were made to be just like him. They didn't even accept him in, where, in his city where he was from, okay? Even when you begin to change and grow and look different and grow in the Lord, others don't recognize you. They're still looking at you as the old self and not the new you, okay? But the Lord says, you were made in my image. You were my son. You were my daughter. You weren't meant to be like everybody else. You wasn't made to fit in. You were made to be different. You were made to be just like me, says Daddy God. But I love you all. I pray that you all are having a blessed day. I'll talk to y'all soon.